What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to create a team members page like this one using Elementor free WordPress page builder plugin. First of all, go to your WordPress dashboard page, add new, give this page some title and click into the blue button to edit with Elementor. We're gonna be loading the Elementor front end editor and start clicking on the plus button. Then select it three columns. After that, hover over this section and click into the middle icon, Edit Section. Right here, now do the same, click into the plus button again and add a new section. Move this section to the top of your page, drag and drop, and then click into the plus button into this very first section. After that, select a heading element. This is gonna be our page heading. Let me align this text, and now let me add another widget, call it divider. In this one, I'm gonna use to separate the title from the team members' posts that we're gonna create. Now, let me just do a minor edit, like changing the colors and the size of the divider. You can change the gap and the weight of the the size of the line and we are good to go. Now into the three columns section that we have added previously, we're gonna apply one image into the first column. Into this image we're gonna be loading our team member post. I already have these nice photos. I'm gonna select 150. Now align to the center. After that, into the style, you can make this image to be a circle. How to do that? If you look under the style tab into your left sidebar, you can, you can check a nice option, it's called Border Radios. Right here. Now, let's increase the Border Radios. And the circle is coming through. Okay, we have a same circle. Now, let's move on. Another heading to the team member name. This is Stella. Let me align the team member name to the center. After that, a text editor. So we can describe the team member, like what she does, how many years, the experience, the position. And finally, we're gonna be adding social icons. Another free we did get from Elementor. In this one, you can add social media icon, apply the link. By default, it came with Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. So, add the link. You can use the official social media color or change the color. We're gonna keep into the official one. The idea of this video is just explain you, so you can use your imagination to change yours. And we're gonna change the shape to a circle, because the team member photo, it's circle too. Let me increase the border radius for a more perfect circle. Great. And here we have our team member. Now, how to clone this? If you look at the 
top left corner into the column, click with the right button of our mouse and copy. After that, post. Once again, into the left corner of the column, post. Now, once again, click into the top left corner of some column and delete this column. Same case here, and we have three columns with three members cards. Now, the final part gonna be changing the colors and applying spaces. Click into the raw editor button. Now, change the background. I'm using background overlay, but background also does the job. It's important that you select the stretch section, so you can have your section select to be full widget. Now, the space. You can customize it, so you can display some content and align the content in general. I think 1000 is enough. 1000 in 100. Let's do the same with the title section. Apply a background, edit the spaces, make it full widget. Change the background color to the same one that we have used in the three columns section. So everything can looks like a unique section. Now Let's apply some padding to the top, so we can separate it from the navigation menu and do the same, but into the bottom, so we can separate the team members from the footer section. We are almost done. Now, it's just a matter of applying a white background into each of the columns. Click into the hover your mouse over the column, have a look at the top left corner button, click on it, and after that go to style, color, and apply a white color. After that, as you can see, the columns gap set by default gonna work, but you can edit this in the case that you want. The full one gonna work good for us and after that go to advanced and on it apply some padding And here we go. Let me clone the sections once again. Copy, post, and delete the ones. Excellent. Now we have three columns with four three members with a background color from different, looking different from the actual one. Now, the final thing to do is apply some margin. You can decrease the padding in the case that you want, but I would like this tiny style. And apply margin to every single side. Top, right, bottom and left. The same for the middle column and exactly the same for the last column. And finally, we're going to edit the, every single one of the members. We 
we're gonna change the member image the title of the member of the team member the name the description the social media links and we are good to go i hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question and don't forget to check out the visualmodel.com portfolio of amazing wordpress teams with full compatibility to elementor wordpress plugin and i see you later all the best